Today I was interviewed by BBC London News about the position of EU citizens in the UK since the referendum. They were particularly interested in how this has affected people emotionally and I spoke to them about the situations I have seen where people have become much more anxious and upset and despairing even in some cases suicidal and how some people have reacted by wanting to go back home home no to their old countries their countries of origin but these are not their homes anymore what is so regrettable is that we EU citizens in good faith came to this country trusting that we were in a pact which meant that all of us are equal as EU citizens and that it was absolutely safe to put down roots and to make this our home. Like in my own case, I've been here for 40 years, I put down roots, I created businesses, family, I had children, I had houses, I have businesses, organizations, my entire life, the absolute entire network of my existence is in the UK. The very idea that somebody can tell me that I cannot take this for granted anymore and that this is no longer safe is deeply upsetting. Now at my age and with all the things I've done in my life, I don't actually take that seriously because I know that the government is wrong when it suggests that it can retroactively remove the rights that I have acquired. I know this is wrong. When I went through five years of applying for our indefinite leave to remain, ILR as we call it, that was done in good faith to play by the rules. I have paid taxes in this country for 40 years. But despite that fact, and despite the fact that this referendum was going to impact on my life and that of other EU citizens more than on anybody else, except perhaps UK citizens who have done the same thing establishing themselves in other countries, despite that fact, those two groups that were most concerned by this situation were not allowed to express their views and did not get the vote on this. Now that goes against any sense of human rights and against any sense of democracy. Of course, if those groups had been consulted, the result of the referendum would have been completely different. Indeed, if the referendum had been based on facts and true choices rather than on people wanting to register a protest vote against the government of today, then it would have gone another way as well. As it is, we find ourselves in a very unfair and very unclear situation. It isn't so much that the government is using us as bargaining chips, they're holding us to ransom. They're creating a state of insecurity in all EU citizens that is completely irrational and completely beyond the pale. It is unacceptable to keep people waiting. It is inhumane and it is not right to talk about us having to be united and at the same time dividing us into different groups groups that are in favor of leaving the EU, groups that are against leaving the EU, groups that are proper UK citizens and groups that are suddenly EU citizens with no rights at all. These are divisive tactics that will have very bad consequences for individual people's mental health and for the country as a whole. Of course, there is no point in telling people unite when at the same time your actions divide them. Let's remember who said that we have more in common than what divides us. 
It was, of course, the MP Jo Cox who was killed for her beliefs. When she said this, when she said, we have more in common than divides us, she was talking about us needing to open our hearts to refugees from countries where they couldn't live anymore. And she was also talking about us carrying on working with our near neighbours who live on the same continent as we do, rather than turning our backs to them and offending them and upsetting them and treating them in a very unpleasant, unstatesmanlike manner. I think this country knows this is going wrong. We have seen that 74% of people interviewed by Sky News are aware that this country is more divided and 70% know it's less happy than it was before the referendum. Let's take this seriously. We all in this country know that something's going wrong. Our reputation is being harmed and the safety of our people is being harmed. Let's please take a moment to start talking about these things and finding out where we've gone wrong and how we can solve those problems. It is urgent because things like this, if left to fester, turn into long-term wounds that will destroy entire communities and they will not be beneficial to anybody at all.